Hey guys, it's Peggy Dean of thepigeonletters.com and in this video I'm going to show you an overview and kind of a walkthrough of Planoly, which is a uh, website that you can schedule Instagram posts on along with other social networks. But this is uh, specifically going to be for Instagram that I'm going to do. So the first thing that I want to point out is that you see an entire schedule here. This is really helpful when you need a calendar view. A lot of times we have dates or we have drafts and we don't really know what things look like. So this is last month for me. This is May. And you can see the places that I, whoops, the places that I posted here, um, the gray ones, these are Planoly events, so just ignore those, but you can see my posts when I posted. If you click on them, you will be able to see also uh, likes and comments. Um, not interacting with them, but you can see the likes and the comments here, uh, which is helpful if you need a quick view. Now, over on the left side, you are going to see the um, grid, your current grid. So what you might notice, but you might not, because it's pretty small. Um, the idea here is so that you can get a visual. Obviously, these all are student spotlights and then three of me, and this is not what I would do on a typical grid. So if you look in the top right of each one of these little grids, you'll see a U. That means it's not scheduled. It's unscheduled. It is a draft. So I can schedule that at any time, but I honestly just throw these up here so that I don't forget they're there. And then you can drag them around and see how your grid is going to look at a distance, which is really, really helpful. Um, now, my, I know that my grid, see how this one right here is not, uh, doesn't have that little U. That means that these are all live. These are uh, posts that are currently up on my grid. So if I wanted to add to my grid, I would go up to the left here. There's a little plus sign that says add to grid, and then I can grab a photo from any of my sources. Now, I want to also let you know the grids upload or grid uploads remaining. It says 30. I'm on a free plan for Planoly. I don't post enough to um, go higher. And also, I just want to say in addition to that, I am not one that likes to plan my Instagram posts ahead of time. Uh, the only time that I do this is when I have a student spotlight or I have a, uh, like a introduction Friday or what I'm about to do, which is post a post about a tutorial that I am launching on my blog on a very specific day. And that way I don't forget to promote it on Instagram. And I like it that way because that makes my feed more organic so that I post what I am, you know, what's more relevant to me that day. So um, that's one of the reasons I don't post very much. So you see grid uploads remaining 30. I haven't used any um, this month and count reset date July 1st, um, upgrade for unlimited. So you can do that. So I'm just going to go to my computer and I'm going to drag over, whoops, not that one. I'm going to drag over what it is that I want to put into my grid, say choose, it's going to upload that. And then once it uploads, you can see, you can upload as a carousel or as one post. So I am going to do this as one post. And then you will see it right here, it says unscheduled. So now I can schedule it. I can go in here, click again, and you can see that this is where your description or caption is going to go. I don't want it to say sent via Planoly, so I'm gonna remove that. And then this is where I can enter my description. So I've previously written this out, I'm just copying and pasting, just making sure that it looks good. Okay, and then I can do my schedule date, and I know that this is going live on my blog, whoops, it's going live on my blog on the 18th. I know what time it's going live, so it doesn't. I don't have to post it right at that time, but um, I do want it in the morning so people can be aware. So I'll just do 7:15. You can also do a quick schedule; it'll um, put it up there for you. So I'm just going to automatically post to Instagram, auto posted. Uh, the other thing that I want to do is add some hashtags, though. So I do some line breaks because I just don't want them to clutter the caption itself. So I can say lettering, tutorial, play, uh, wavy lettering, lettering effects, um, procreate, procreate lettering. Oops. Basically being annoying with um, hashtags. <laughs> Hand lettering, you know how it goes. Or I'll say iPad lettering. Okay, that seems fine. So I've got it be auto posted. I can edit that. I can add a location. I can add a tag for a user and I can add a comment. Um, 
ad- in addition after it's posted. I believe the comments, yeah, you have to have a paid plan, so that's not going to work. Um, but that would be useful if you want to like add your captions as a comment instead of part of the caption. But I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to throw it in there, save it, and then I'm going to show you how next month I don't have anything up or published yet, but you can see now that I've got this scheduled. You will also see that it has moved from the unscheduled area and it is now in the scheduled um, space. You won't see anything in between these two because that technically is the next thing to go up according to the schedule. However, I will be doing that on my own time and not putting them up to schedule. But if you do want a quick and easy way to schedule your posts, this is a really great platform. It's also just a beautiful site. Um, so. I recommend checking it out, at least the the, the um, free plan to see how you like it. So hope that was helpful, guys. Enjoy. Find more information on resources for art at thepigeonletters.com, including tutorials, resources, and additional websites like this and whatnot. You get it. Okay, follow my channel <laughs> notifications for next videos. Bye.